So, I think it's kind of unfair that they did that and then made you listen to a cutscene explaining it. But I think I remember how it went. And then around and through here. There we go. Um, here we get into a fight. Well, because I wanted to. Let's see what enemy we'll be encountering. Because it is new. We're encountering the dark side. Do they have cookies? I was promised cookies. Ew. This is... Well probably going to be one of the tougher fights that we encounter, but it's still not that difficult. Bannon doesn't even get to heal. That's how quickly it goes. Goko's getting to level. Finally learned another spell, which is Drain. A uh, very low level spell, like I think it should be. Oh, you're going to make me do it again? At least you replay where it goes. I had this solved. I did have it memorized. Let's do it again, though. Hopefully I don't mess it up because I'm anxious this time or whatever. Down. Ugh. Are you kidding me? I make one... I broke it? Oh, you can hit the... Yeah, you can hit the... The different colored one. I want to say like orange or yellow and it'll work fine, but... Either way, we are ready to move on. Here is where we were before... Back to where rats, by the way. This is the spot where Coco fell before, so let's just head down here. And hopefully we can start encountering new areas. Uh, there is one thing that I should mention, but it's kind of weird how I need to phrase this because of spoilers. But there is a fight uh, that you encounter with the lights that will help you out further on. Unfortunately, I didn't get that fight. There was only like a 25% chance of that fight happening, but I'm not willing to, to grind until I get that fight. Uh, we'll, we'll go over why that is later. Uh, so let's just move on for now. And we have not been here before. This is the home of the Moogles, who only say Kupo. Except for this guy, because he's special. He says Kupo. -po. He's Kupo for Kupo Nuts. Let's just head out of here. Continue I mean, there's nothing to do here. Here, there is a treasure chest, obviously. This has a rune edge in it. I am not a fan of the rune edge. I suggest you do not pick it up here. And if you do pick it up, I suggest you don't use it. Uh, what the rune edge does is it increases... Uh, well, Coco's the one that would be equipping it. It increases her battle power by 1 and her evade by 10, but once again, evade does nothing. However, a rune edge, and I don't even know if they even list this anywhere, the rune edge will consume 12 to 18 of your MP in order to inflict a critical strike with a regular attack. Not worth it. Uh, how much MP? I mean, you know, Coco's only got 87 MP right now. 12 to 18 for one attack is not worth it. Uh, this is another chest that does change later in the game, so we're going to avoid it once again. So, let's just head out of here, and here you can see that there was a kind of a hidden passage to get there. Moogles like their privacy. So we're just going to move on the way that we were before. This is actually the part where Biggs and Wedge were with us. Yes, his name technically was Vix, I just don't care. We actually need to go out the front here, uh, not the back. Uh, still avoiding all those treasure chests. They have not changed yet, but they will. They will. So out to the front we go. We pretty much need to go back to that old man's house. God, everything here is just so easy right now. Uh, actually, no, though, now that we're out of the cave, I have a little work unequipping that I need to do. Unequipping done. Everybody has nothing. Well, except for Bannon, but he won't let me touch his stuff. So, let's slowly walk over there. Unfortunately, that is one of the downsides of it. But then again, we were going through this game pretty quickly, if I might say so myself. So, a little bit more pacing is okay by me. And we have found the old man again, and his name is Arvis. Bannon, King Glenn, and Coco. Arvis, what's happening here in Narsh? The town's neutral. I've tried to get the people to side with the returners, but... Anyway, why on earth have you come here? 
First, how are your people doing? They all went slightly berserk when the Esper was discovered. What? Why are you staring at her like that? We believe this young woman is our only hope of reaching out to that Esper. My people are dying to know what the Esper looks like. Maybe Coco can help restore some order to our town. That Esper is either going to save us, or dig us an early grave. Choose a scenario! I will, after I save one more time. I'll save once again. We are going to follow Elvis, because his is a little bit easier. What dire fate has befallen Elvis, who fell from the raft after the fight with Ultros? Hopefully he lived. Otherwise, I lost a valuable party member that we just got. Yeah, of course he lived. Why wouldn't he live? And I think we do need to re-equip him. Let's give him the Mithril Shield and Bandana. That is definitely useful. In terms of relics, we're going to switch him up a bit. Uh, we're going to go with the White Cape. Uh, it'll decrease his overall attack, but I think that's fine. And we're gonna give him the star pendant, just in case something poisons him. Probably something well. Let's go ahead and move on. We need to go somewhere. I wonder where we should go. How about right there? That looks good to me. Careful! Yeah, we have to be quick with this guy. Who are you? He will sprint on and off screen so damn fast. Howdy, I own the dry goods business out here. You're not from these parts, huh? Well, no matter. I am very interested in seeing your goods. As you can see, I've built up quite a bit of money. Uh, we are actually going to purchase... And this goes against every instinct in me. Um, we're going to purchase... 99 shurikens. I, I never buy things that you can throw. Ever. Ever. Oh, by the way, in the Japanese version, these are kunai, but still shurikens. Uh, these are these aren't that great, but they're cheap. They're cheap, so I'm going to get them. On top of that, I'll probably get. I should get a few of these. Probably, yeah, we'll we'll do five. Five sounds good. Five and five. And nothing else should be necessary for now. Yeah, thrown items. How do you throw items? See you around. And then look how fast he moves. You'll never catch him if you catch him off guard. Who's Who could possibly throw items? Oh, no. Let's talk to the dog. Can I talk to the dog? <laughs> Whoa, the dog just can't stand strangers. Oh, that's awesome. Can we do it again? <laughs> wow. Hide behind Bash, why don't you? All right, let's talk to him. You, on a journey? Got separated from my friends. Say, can you tell me how to get to Nash? Imperial soldiers have built a base somewhere beyond the forest. Already? They seem to have their sights set on Doma Castle. So Doma's next, huh? I have to reach Narsh immediately. Reach Narsh. That's weird for whatever reason. Your only hope is through Doma. I'll help you. I'll show you the way. Just know that I may take off at any time if I feel like it. That is true for the majority of the game, but uh, not right now. Welcome a partner. Of course! The Reaper is always just a step behind me. And Bash has joined the party. We don't get, like, a fanfare or anything. Uh, you're going to be in the back row, by the way. Let's go ahead and uh, give him the buckler and the plumed hat. In terms of relics, uh, he is going to need... Hyper wrist and jeez, what else do I want to give him? Um, the Atlas armlet. Yeah, race fart damage. That sounds good, because that's what we're pretty much trying to do here. He. It doesn't show. He can throw. As you might expect, he is a ninja, therefore he can throw the shurikens that we purchased for him. And that is what we're doing, so we're going to be in the back row while we throw shurikens at people. Sounds good to you, sounds good to me. Let's head in here. And here we find an old man. Aged man, sorry. Don't want to call him old. Hey! You the clockmaker? I've been waiting for ages. Uh, no. The clockmaker. 
There it is, on the wall. You've been ticking for one, five, shucks, maybe even ten years. Um, okay. What do you want me to do about that? Got it. Lawnmower repairman, eh? Couldn't provide worse service. Grass is 25 feet high out back. D dude? No more lip repairman. Fix that stove on the double. The, the stove? <laughs> oh, jeez. No child could be this mischievous. Oh, I guess that was Elvis talking. My bad. Child! Ain't no child around here, Boulder Dash. I'm ready for you to leave. Go on, get! I'm tossing you out onto the belt! I'd rather take a stick in the eye than deal with that guy again. Well, so much for that. Jeez. I don't think there's actually anything that we need to do here. I think we can just go ahead and leave. But! We do have a new party member, and that is always nice. So, what we want to do is get into a fight almost immediately. We have new enemies. Uh, we're going to throw... Oh, shit. Yeah, throw shurikens at them. Throw ninja stars. And we are going to go... Damn, that, lo that looks pretty damn sweet, I must say. Unfortunately, we don't have our healer with us anymore. Uh, take out, I assume, that's the beaker. And this is why you purchase so many shurikens. They are so damn cheap. And they do that kind of damage. That's more than the Oracle, wasn't it? I think it was. Damn, you get a lot of items for that one. I will take it. I will take it. So I think there's... Well, it's pretty obvious where, where we need to go. There's only one real path here. There is a giant forest along the way, though. And we do have stray cats. And I will throw something. We'll leave, I don't know. We'll leave it up to chance. 50-50 shot that Elvis kills the cat. No, he, the cat lives. Does the cat attack me? I'll leave it alone unless it attacks me. At least it's not a Gila cat, but still. Oh. You fucking cat. Take a shuriken to the face. If that doesn't kill... Yeah, of course that kills it. It's a cat. <laughs> 129 experience, 360 heal. I do feel kind of bad about that, but what do you want me to do? It, it, it attacked me first. It was self-defense the entire time. <laughs> do we have no new enemies this time? 